वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन पॉइंट सेवन एट सो द फिफ्टी के जी फ्लावर पॉट इज सस्पेंडेड फ्राम वायर ए बी एंड बी सी इफ वायर हैज़ अ नॉर्मल फेरियर स्ट्रेस ऑफ थ्री फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द मिनिमम डायमीटर ऑफ ईच वायर एंड यूज अ फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी ऑफ टू पॉइंट फाइव सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ फ्लावर पॉट दैट इज फिफ्टी के जी clear so 50 multiplied by 9.8 will convert it into newton this is wire ab and this is wire bc clear and the failure stress in each wire is given as 50 mega pascal so all the given data is already written over here so you have to find the diameter of wire ab and diameter of wire bc so let's start with the solution so internal loading internal internal loading will be as you can see the normal stress developed in cable ab and bc can be determined by considering the equilibrium condition at point b so how you will define that so let the force in wire ab is fab clear force in wire bc is fbc clear and if you draw a horizontal line so you can see that this is the 45 degree angle so this will be also 45 degree and similarly this angle is 30 and this angle will be also 30 also the weight of this flower part which will be acting downward is 50 multiply by 9.81 in newton so consider the equilibrium at point b we will we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force taken in this direction is positive now you can see that we have different forces one one force is that uh, the horizontal component of fbc and other one is the horizontal component of fab so how you will get this so i will write it one component if i draw it like this so one component will be this one which is fbc x and other component is this one which is fbc y similarly this horizontal component will be fab x and other component will be fab y so you can see that this fbc x is in positive direction so fbc x minus fab x their sum must be equal to 0 now what is fbc x so fbc x is equal to fbc cos of 45 degree you will know how to get this cos of 45 degree i will also explain if you take cos of 45 degree that will be equal to fbc x over fbc clear so fbc x will be equal to fbc cos of 45 similarly fab x will be equal to fab cos of 30 degree you can put it in this equation so when you put it in this equation so it will be minus uh, sorry plus fbc which is fbc cos of 45 degree minus fab into cos of 30 degree their sum must be equal to 0 so let this is your first equation now 
uh, will apply in either equilibrium condition that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the upward force is positive so in y direction you can see there are three forces one is this one the other is this one and the third one is downward their sum must be equal to zero so i will write it it will be equal to f a b y plus f b c y minus 50 into 9.81 their sum must be equal to zero so if you take sine of 30 degree this angle 30 degree it will be equal to f a b y divided by f a b so f a b y y component is equal to f a b into sine of 30 degree so you can put it over here f a b y is equal to f a b into sine of 30 degree plus this will be f b c so f b c will be equal to f b c into sine of 45 degree minus 50 into 9.81 their sum must be equal to zero let this is equation number two so if you solve equation one and two they are simultaneous equation so you will get f a b is equal to 359.07 newton and f b c is equal to 439.77 newton and if you are confused you can uh, use this equation one and you can calculate f b c so f b c will be equal to f a b into cos of 30 degree divided by cos of 45 degree clear and when you put this f b c over here all that values will be in term of f a b so you will get f a b will be this and again f b c will be this one and this is very easy you can do it by yourself now we'll move further uh, we will uh, go to allowable normal stresses we will find allowable normal stress because we have been given as factor of safety is given as 2.5 and failure stress is given as 350 mega pascal so from that we will calculate the allowable stress so allowable stress will be equal to failure stress divided by factor of safety because allowable stress is uh, when divided by 2.5 it will give you the allowable stress so 2.5 is equal to 140 megapascal so it means that uh, your stress should be equal to 140 less or equal to 140 megapascal so this is our allowable stress based on this allowable stress we use using this result sigma allowable is equal to we will calculate for wire a b so it is equal to f a b divided by area of a b and for row b c this will be equal to f b c divided by area of b c okay so allowable stress is 140 mega pascal so 140 into 10 raised to power 6 we know that f a b that we have calculated over here 390 359 359.07 divided by area so of rope so area of rope is pi by 4 d a b square you can also apply it it over here 114 to 10 raised to power 6 is equal to fbc is 439.77 and area of bc is pi by 4 dbc square so from here you will get uh, this dab and this dab will be equal to dab square will be equal to 
फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन डिवाइड बाई पाई इन टू वन फोर्टी इंटू टेन एस पावर सिक्स सो डी ए बी आफ्टर टेकिंग द स्क्र यू विल गेट इट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन एट जीरो सेवन मीटर और डी ए बी इन टर्म ऑफ मिली मीटर विल बी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट एट वन मिली मीटर सिमिलरली हेयर यू विल गेट डी बी सी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू फोर टाइम्स फोर थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन डिवाइड बाई पाई इंटू वन फोर्टी इंटू टेन एस टू पावर सिक्स सो डी बी सी आफ्टर टेकिंग स्क्वेयर विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो टू डबल जीरो और डी बी सी डायमीटर ऑफ वायर बी सी इज इक्वल टू टू मिली so this is the answer of our this question number 1.78 i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and keep watching videos thank you